Hey friends, David Watts, and one more quick video for you. This time, the Luminar 2018 Details Enhancer Filter. So, let's uh, show you where we find that real quick. Excuse me just a moment there. There we go. It's under Issue Fixers, and these are somewhat arbitrary categories, of course. I don't think of it necessarily as fixing issues per se but um, it can be quite helpful. In fact, let's look quickly at the description here. It helps you create dramatic photos and brings crystal clear sharpness to your images. Uh, the proper detail enhancement, make your photos look sharp, uh, great and sharp with no halos or extra artifacts. And it is true, the last part of that, that when we sharpen images, sometimes we can end up with a halo effect around a subject, a person, or a thing, uh, or some sort of weird artifacts going on. And I found this filter to be quite powerful, and that's why I wanted to show you. So this is another in a series of just, we're just looking at one filter, and I hope it'll help. Uh, again, I used this image for a previous video. I like it. It's just kind of simple. Uh, this is a little uh, pot, obviously. If we go to 100%, you can see it's sort of a canvas material. And the image is, um, you know, nice and in focus. The details enhancer, though, Watch what happens when we change the, the small setting, and my understanding is this will impact smaller details primarily. Now, when we click on it, let's push it up to about 69, 70, something like this. Look at how crisp the texture now becomes. We'll give the image just a second to, to finish working, but let's look at it before, after, before, after, just going back and forth. You can see it really uh, made the, the fabric crisp. We were in focus before, but it just adds some nice sharpness. And I've always appreciated a little bit of sharpness, not too much. I don't want to make it look fake, but I think that can really help. When you look at the image now at this sort of normal perspective, and again, we go back and forth, you can, you can even see it in this larger view. You don't have to go to 100% to see the impact, but uh, certainly you can, but you, you can even see it uh, at this uh, zoomed out perspective. The other thing I'd ask you to notice is watch this area right about in here uh, on this image. So here's before. Look how it's a little darker before. And when we apply this small details enhancer, look what it does. So it actually not only increases the sharpness a bit, but actually seems to lift just a little bit of details in those dark areas. I continue to go back and forth here. Maybe pay attention right in here as well. You may have seen that already. Here we go, back and forth. And it brings up just a little bit of those details. Another way we can look at it is with a split screen here. And you can go back and forth and see that it not only gave us a nice texture on the canvas of the pot, but somehow seemed to lift up that shadow a little bit. And, and I like the, the effect and the impact. Now, there's more to learn about this for myself as well. I continue to learn all the time. You might take this out, and you can get pretty similar results with the, the medium um, the slider. Uh, and for that matter, you get somewhat similar results with the large uh, slider. But I think the detail is crisper when we use the small slider. It just seems to have a more uh, pleasant look to me. Again, before and after, and you can see again in this area here, where it was a little bit darker before, it just brightens it ever so slightly. So I have found it's a great way to add some extra detail without adding uh, a fake sort of look to the image. And if you needed to, I would remind you, you can apply it selectively. So, you know, essentially what I like to do, make my adjustments globally. And again, go back and forth. And you, you might could argue, look, look at this area in here through the window pane where there's some, some out of focus areas, some bokeh. You might could argue that before and after, and because we're applying this uh, detail enhancer to the whole image, you might could argue that this area afterwards is not quite as pleasant, that it's maybe just ever so slightly sharper back there. 
and you would prefer it not to be. You might can see it over here uh, in this area before and after. So the way you would approach that is to apply this adjustment only to the area uh, that you may want. So uh, if you've seen that before, it's very simple. You click on the tool here. It looks like a brush. You click on brush. You'll then immediately have a brush and you can use the bracket keys. Uh, for mine, it's on the upper right um, side of my Mac keyboard. Change this uh, to be uh, uh, appropriate size and then just hold that down and paint. And you're essentially, well not essentially, you actually are applying that adjustment only uh, to this area where you are painting. And this is where the art's going to come into play. You might try applying it up here to the pedals as well or a little bit on the tabletop uh, for some sharpness. Uh, and what this will do then is leave, and just click done when you're done, this will leave the window and some of that out of focus areas alone. So as we go back and forth now, you will see the change only on the pot. And that's how you, um, how you can apply that very selectively. And you'll see that it's been applied selectively by virtue of the, the little um, small icon here, essentially representing an overlay, and you even get a little reminder in the shape of what you've applied uh, this adjustment. And it is that same exact shape that we applied up here on the little flower pot, a little bit on the table, and that's it. You're done. So just wanted to show you that and hope that helps a bit. Until next time, uh, enjoy uh, photography, and uh, we'll catch you next time. See you.